Dennis, give me Chris Rock Selective Outrage. Yes, sir. Everybody that really knows, knows I had nothing to do with that. I didn't have any entanglements. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Rock destroys Will Smith and Jada Pinkett entanglement slash slap on Selective Outrage live Netflix show. Welcome to Management Highlights Daily. Wow, I've been waiting for this one. Chris Rock finally goes in on the slap that was heard around the world. Man, did he not disappoint. This is the realest stand-up I've ever seen. At least the last part where he goes in on Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. Please watch the show before you watch this reaction slash commentary video. Because we made a lot of edits to the clips that we're gonna highlight. The B word is out, the F word is out, the N word is out, and that takes away a lot of the impact and the power of the message that Chris Rock delivers. And of course, I'm adding commentary, so make sure you watch the show it's definitely worth it. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah! We men ain't we? Yeah! Smoke, well, y'all know what happened to me. Getting smacked by Suge Smith. <laughs> last week I got smacked in the Oscars by this fuck. And people like, did it hurt? <laughs> it still hurts. I got summertime ringing in my ears. <laughs> Chris Rock is really good at what he does, brothers. Even though you want to see him roast and destroy Will and Jada, this still is a comedy show. It needs to be funny. But I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. Couldn't believe it. And I love men in black. No. It's never gonna happen. No. I took that hit like Pacquiao, mother. In this case, silence was definitely gold. Everybody wanted to know what he had to say, but he kept silent and it worked in his favor. He didn't embrace the victim role, even though he was clearly wronged. He's a comedian. He makes jokes. It was Will Smith that took a huge L with his actions. And now that Chris Rock opened up in the way he does best, it can be described as the storm that came after the silence. Will Smith is gonna get this work. And people are like, well, you guys are fighting all the time. We not fight. First of all, I know you can't tell on camera. Will Smith is significantly bigger than me. We are not the same size, okay? Will Smith played Muhammad Ali in a movie. You think I auditioned for that part? He played Muhammad Ali. I played Pookie in New Jack City. <laughs> Pookie. Oh my goodness. We all heard the phrase, pick on someone your own size. Will Smith is really that big. He never returned to his Fresh Prince of Bel-Air size after he played Ali. He knew what he was doing. He knew he could take Chris Rock and that's why it backfired. He should have slapped someone of his own size or someone that would fight back, like Dave Chappelle. Will Smith practices selective outrage. And everybody that really knows, knows I had nothing to do with that shit. I didn't have any entanglements. <laughs> Will and his wife was her son's friend, okay? <laughs> oh, this is pure gold. This is what this is all about. This is why we call it the silence before the storm. The mainstream media didn't address the slap as a retaliation for the entanglement with August. They ran with the story of Jada Pinkett having alopecia. But now you heard it from Chris Rock's mouth. Will Smith's wife was effing her son's friend. Pure gold. I normally would not talk about this shit. But for some reason these put that shit on the internet. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that low down. We all been cheated on. Everybody in here been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. The foolishness. That was the dumbest move they have ever made in their whole lives. Put it on the internet for the whole world to see. Keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. 
What do you think is gonna happen? Shaking my head. Hey, I was sucking somebody else's. How did that make you feel? Oh, she. That's cold. She hurt him way more than he hurt me, okay? Facts. Everybody in the world called him a. Charlemagne called him a. To the Breakfast Club called him a. And the view. Everybody called him a. They called his wife a predator. Everybody called him a. And who's he hit? Me. A n he know he could beat. That is some bitch ass. Facts. 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 This is exactly where the slap is coming from. Will Smith tried to show the world he was not a biatch. Dana Pinkett really hurt this man. And he was a willing participant in this foolishness. That's why people lost respect for Will Smith and he is considered a simp in this space. A super beta. If you are going to put it out in the world, people are going to talk about it. And you retaliate by hitting Chris Rock. This is a lose-lose situation. It only gets worse. Whatever. Years ago, his wife said, I, I should quit the Oscars. I shouldn't host. She said he should quit because Will didn't get nominated for concussion. So then I do some jokes about her. Who gives a f That's how it is. She starts it, I finish it, okay? That's what the f happened. Nobody's picking on this f She started this f She said, a me, a grown ass man should quit his job because her husband didn't get nominated for concussion. And then this gives me a f concussion, okay? Chris Rock messed up the joke in the beginning, but he truly handled it like a pro. He is really good at what he does. Stand up comedy is not easy, fellas. He never mentioned the G.I. Jane joke he made at the Oscars, but he's letting Jada have it with the B word this time. Definitely put his wife's name back in his mouth. Jada Pinkett is salty because she is not relevant and Will Smith keeps outshining her. This red table talk is all about herself. That's why she brings out her personal issues. I love Will Smith. My whole life I love this nigga. I love this because I have rooted for Will Smith my whole life I root for this mother okay? We all did man. Who doesn't love Will Smith? That's the power of his success. Everybody loved him. And now I, I watch Emancipation just to see him get whooped. Got me rooting for Massa, okay? I hit him again Massa! Hit him again! That was cold man. That was cold. But that movie flopped by the way. People refuse to see it. And a lot of people go, Chris, how come you didn't do nothing back? Because I got parents. That's why. Because I was raised. And you know what my parents taught me? Don't fight in front of white people. You could feel the pain in Chris Rock's voice. You could see it in his eyes. He really needed to get this off his chest. That last question. He got bombarded with that question. Why didn't you do anything? This is worse than the slap. People question his manhood. You don't know what was going through his mind at the time. It was really surprising, unexpected. And I hope Chris Rock has peace with the way he handled the situation because he is the clear winner, but he will have to carry this with him for the rest of his life. Same thing goes for Will Smith. Fellas, being a man comes with challenges. We can and we have to learn from men like Will Smith and Chris Rock. For the guys that went through traumatic experiences, it's important to talk about what happened and seek help if you need it. This can be through therapy, support groups, or confiding in a trusted friend or family member. We must take care of ourselves. This includes getting enough sleep, eating well, and engaging in activities that make you happy and bring you peace. Raise your standards. Don't be a simp and be proud to be a man. See? Manners will be working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted. highlighted.